Hi everybody, got a third update for you for the LTX DMR project. I've got power temporarily hooked up to the system so that way I can just show you the features that I have working. Power is a whole different story as far as trying to get that removable battery pack to come in and out. So I've got power. The strength and the uh, ammo bars are both working just fine. We've got the sensor dome temporarily hooked up right now. Well, not temporarily, it's only halfway hooked up. Thanks to the efforts of Nick Sondag, who goes by Sundog on the tactical tag forums. Um, there's five wires that run into the main sensor. And the five that are attached to the sensor dome, which is up here, I already showed you the assembly in update two, are hooked up. But they're not hooked up yet to the board. They're going to run through this um, bundled cord that has all the wires that we need in there. Dealing with the ribbon cord in trying to hook all that stuff up has been a uh, uh, a hassle. Um, so I'm hoping to get that hooked up and operational by Friday, but that's a day away, so we'll see. I'm going to get her started up here. Hooking up the uh, ribbon wire has been a pain in the butt because of the coating that's over the board and the ribbon wire itself. We are going to need good luck. So, um, the features that I've got working on it are the trigger, the reload, and the shields, and I just wanted to run you through those. Trigger, right here, working just fine, until I hook it up with this. Currently, there's not a spring that's pushing this orange trigger assembly back out. It's just working uh, much like the LTTO line, um, or the LTX for that matter where it's just a plastic piece that comes in contact with the button and the, uh, the plastic piece is loose enough that it pops back out every time you shoot. This assembly is a little tighter, so when I pull it back, when I have it assembled, it sticks. So I'm going to either have to throw a spring in there to push it back out, or I'm going to have to figure out how to sand it down so that way it works smooth enough like the LTX and LTTO line. Um, the reload function, obviously I'm doing this from the inside of the weapon, not the outside. Um, you pull back on that yellow mag release, blinking light and the ticking noise uh, everything's working about it the switch in here um, that senses the clip going back in you could technically just hold it down but it's kind of a pain to hold the weapon like that so the clip is very necessary for this thing to function and the third part is the shields that switch that I showed you here we go shields are on um, and the strength or the ammo indicator let you know how much time you've got left. I'm out. Just flip it back off. Um, I think I'm just going to use the strength count, uh, the strength gauge on this thing. I may just do away with the ammo because really it's only 10 shots. If you need an LED gauge to let you know how many shots you've got left in 10 shots then you're not really paying attention anyways and you shouldn't be using this weapon. Um, you can also turn it off midway through the shield sequence. So that's working just great. The other thing that's actually on this side of the weapon again anyways is where the strength, ammo, uh, strength display goes. I've got this slit that's cut into the back side of this silver part of the weapon. Underneath, those guys are going to shine right through. Um, and that's going to be a, in a great position for the shooter to be able to see their health. So that needs to get mounted. That'll probably be one of the last things that I do. Um, speaking of stuff that's left to do on this, obviously we've got the sensor dome to hook up. We've got the power supply issue to figure out. I still don't know how to get into that. There's a couple ways I could do it. Um, the, the lens is pretty much perfectly mounted right now. Um, and then it's just aesthetics and paint at that point. There's also the weaver rail that we still need to mount, but I'm not going to worry about that just yet. So that's everything that I've got working on the LTX DMR. Uh, thanks for watching the third update, and we'll let you know. Well, I think uh, the next update will more than likely be when I've got the weapon operational for combat testing. It will probably not be painted at that point, um, but it could be. We'll see. Thanks.